All right, all right. So before I start the video, I just want to explain why it's a different video for Wednesday. Um, well, um, this week is a little difficult for me uh, because I have extra stuff to do at work. The fair is in town, and I am a janitor, and because our... I don't know. The people in charge decide they have to... I don't know. Punish us for some for doing good work. We have to clean the fair, so I have less time to do stuff. I'll be more tired, and so my wild card Wednesday pick was Waterworld, which is a movie that's over two hours long, and I haven't seen it before. And we haven't seen a movie before; it's even longer because you don't know what's going on. So rather than sit through that. I have been casually watching through a TV series, a short-lived TV series, and I thought I'd, you know, talk about a short-lived series. This is a new episode of Short-Lived. I want to do more of these, and I keep on pushing them back. But I'm going to start, start trying to do more, trying to start to do more. Uh, so, this is a short-lived, and what I perceive to be a very underrated Nickelodeon TV show from back in 2002, right? Nick Cannon. You know him. You love him. He's wild and out. Gonna be it. You know, he's a mass singer. He's gonna have a daytime talk show now. But way, way back in the day, he was little Nick Cannon on a little show called All That. Now, that's not a show we're talking about because that thing lasted 10 seasons and beyond. I don't even know if they're still airing new episodes of the re second revival, but... In 2000, they stopped airing new episodes. Uh, the show went on hiatus, and the cast was all let go. They started doing best of episodes to kind of fill the time. Then they brought in a new cast in 2002, and Nick Cannon got his own show. The Nick Cannon Show. Now, I was confused when it first aired because I thought it was going to be another sketch show like The Amanda Show. I also thought the same thing about Drake and Josh, but that was a sitcom. This is a more reality-based show where Nick, in each episode, would take over something. Yeah, a place or a thing or, you know, something. This resulted in... 26 episodes over two seasons airing on uh, Nickelodeon's Saturday evening slot of SNCC. And, yeah, I have two volumes of it on my Xbox Movies and TV app. And it's not every episode, but it has a lot of them. And here's the list of uh, what he took over. All the episodes, and I'll kind of explain a little bit. There is Nick Takes Over Your Family, which was like a neighborhood thing, you know. The only thing I can really remember, because that wasn't one of the episodes that I had. The only thing I really remember is that he tried, he said that doing a lemonade stand was boring, so he tried to change it. And one of the things I remember was cheese juice, and I used to joke around with that when I was in school. Your school, which is one I do remember, because I've seen that one a lot. Takes over school, talks to kids about school, pretends to be a teacher to go into a the yeah, teacher's lounge, stuff like that. A wedding, that's fun. You know, taking over a wedding. He he's at a wedding. It's boring. He picks a random guy, a random girl, and says, "Y'all want to get married? Let's do it." A rodeo. Do I have to even go there? Uh, Hollywood. So these early ones you're gonna see are bigger and better than the later ones, but Hollywood. Music, hey fellas, hey ladies, hey we party down tonight, we gonna go crazy. The beach, London, although he was trying to go to Alaska, I think, or or the North Pole, or the South Pole, one of the two. Style, the military, food, 
I like how that episode starts too. He's like at a food court or something, and he just eat, he has a whole thing of food and he eats a bunch of it. He's like, that, that's right, taking over food. And he gets done. Baseball. Nickelodeon, which is a fun one. Um, fitness. The circus. That one has a funny part where he's like massaging an elephant and it farts and he goes, You farting? Uh, zoo, which is right after that. The mall, which I don't remember any of. A hospital. The only thing I remember is that they had a cameo from Donald Faison, who was on Scrubs at the time. So, space, Martians, you know, holidays, which is cool. You go through each holiday, you know, it's all on the same day, but it's pretty cool. Transportation, and this is where it starts to get a little bit. Like, they ran out of ideas. Although, transportation is a good episode. I'll talk about that later. A town. Yep. Recreation. And then, there was a... There's a couple of extra episodes. One episode, throughout season two, you don't see the character of Latanya, which I'll get to with the characters in a minute. But, there's a special episode about where she'd been the last season called Latanya, Girl, Where You At? And they're in the best of Nick Cannon show. So, Nick Cannon being from a sketch comedy show like all that obviously brought his talents to the show and every you know in every episode there would be little skits pertaining to what he's taking over be it your school wedding rodeo hollywood something like that and you would have certain characters pop in and there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six characters besides himself that he portrayed first and foremost is a character he brought with him from all that latonya who used to work at the gas station with the Lanisha, who was Kenan Thompson's character. Uh, Kenan actually plays the character again in the Latanya Where You At episode, but it's one of those things where they alter the voice and they silhouette it, you know? So you don't think it's her. But, and then, you know, in season six of all that, she was working at, like, a opera, office building or whatever. But here, she's just going around doing stuff pertaining to what Nick is taking over. Like, in, in the school episode, she wants to be a cheerleader. In the style episode, she wants to be in the fashion. And then, me, and then Nickelodeon episode, she tries to take over Tiny and make it Latonia. Next is my favorite character, French to the Spunkle. Don't know Ash Uncle. And his character is he's a rapper from Brooklyn. He's got messed up teeth. He wears googly eye glasses. And he sideways hat he talks hey what's up son how's it going money yeah b that's how he talks it's a fun little character he's always getting the mishaps uh and i can tell you in the one nick takes over a town he tries to dig for gold ends up in a candy store um and the one with transportation he tries to get his driver's license so he can drive nick cannon to new york and he fails of course uh in space, he's responsible for launching Nick into space. Uh, he works at a restaurant in the Nickelodeon one, or the, the takeover food one. Uh, so he messes up. Next, we have Oswald Watkins, the original soul brother. And this is the musician character. He's got Jerry Curls and some shades on and goatee. And and he's like the musician. He said he got like 70 odd, 70 some gold records, all of them hits or whatever. And, uh, um, in one particular episode, he gets to actually have a conversation with Mary J. Blige, which is pretty cool. And one, in the translation episode, he saves Nick with the limousine, or not limousine, uh, tour bus. We'll get to that transportation one, but yeah, he's, he's a fun character. Next, next, we have Rico. He's sort of a Hispanic type character. There's like, he's at, in the wedding one, he organizes a bridal shower. And I think it's the zoo episode. He has a cologne, which stinks. Not much that I remember him doing, but... Aunt Pearl. Which supposed to be Nick's Aunt Pearl. And she's... Oh, I love waiting to get out to She's at the wedding episode. And she's in a couple other ones. Yeah, Nick also portrays a weird-looking uh, reverend at the in the wedding episode, which is... I don't know if that's another character, but it's just... I don't know. Aunt Pearl shows up here and there. She's... I thought she disappeared in season two, but she does appear in a couple episodes, so... And finally, appearing in season two, I think, as a replacement for Latanya, because they're doing that whole running gag, is Dirty Larry, which I believe is supposed to be a Caucasian character, 
But his thing is, well, you know, dirt and stink. And the first episode, he shows up in, I think, is the zoo. And he's trying to turn animal food into people food. Like animal food burgers, animal food ice cream. And he shows up later in a dump truck to help Nick out. It's a really weird thing. Uh... Each episode would start with a cold open where Nick would be doing something and decide this is boring or gets annoyed. And you know, you know what? I'm taking over. Do, 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 do. You know. Uh, certain episodes, I can tell you. In the London one, he thinks he's going to the South Pole to take over. But he, that's actually going to London. He goes, you know what? I'm taking over London. Uh, in the, the, the town, he's actually on his way to somewhere else when the car breaks down. So he just takes over the town. Transportation. He... Uh, Okay, we're talking about the transportation episode here, because it's probably one of the better ones, even though it's, like, grasping at straws. And uh, Nick takes over transportation. He's babysitting some kids when he gets a phone call from Carson Daly. Carson Daly tells him that he needs Nick to host TRL. So, Nick decides he's got to get to New York to host TRL, but he doesn't know how. And that's why there's a bunch of characters that show up to try to help him. First is Francis Spunkle, who tries to get his his driver's license so he can drive Nick there, but, you know, he doesn't get it, of course. Then Oswald Watkins shows up and gives him a ride in a tour bus, but he only goes so far, so then they start walking again, and then they run into uh, Dirty Larry, gives him a ride in a garbage truck, but can also only go so far. Nick tries to get in contact with Aunt Pearl, but she's at Demolition Derby. She's in the monster truck rally or something. And then Carson Daly calls and gives them a limo so they can get to New York for TRL. And it ends with them getting to TRL. It's a fun episode, despite the fact that they were running on fuse at this point, I think. Now, the reason for cancellation is that uh, the ratings got low because of the turnover during season two. There's different producers and stuff. Uh, but... Also, you can tell they're kind of running out of ideas for the answer. Transportation to town, recreation. Yeah, getting a little, you know, they had, a, you know, certain ideas. Your family, a school, wedding, rodeo, Hollywood, music, beach. Good one. Also, this show is how I found out that reality shows aren't necessarily real. Uh, it's the episode where Nick takes over the beach. Uh, during the episode... He is, um, so let me explain something first. Uh, during this time in Saturday mornings on Kids WB, there was a show called R.L. Stein's The Nightmare Room, which was an anthology series that didn't last too long. Didn't last as long as this show either. Uh, but on that show, that particular day, aired an episode called My Name is Evil. In this episode featured a fortune teller lady, freaky fortune teller lady, and Later that night, on the Nick Cannon show, this fortune teller lady appeared on an episode where Nick takes over the beach where he needs lifeguards, and she's one of them. It's the same actress, and that's how I knew. I was 15 years old at the time. That's how I knew that this wasn't really a reality show. It was kind of staged, you know. Speaking of celebrities, there are quite a few celebrities that shows up, show up in these uh, episode in these episodes. Especially in the Nick takes over Hollywood, yeah, Amanda Bynes, Frankie Muniz, um, there's a whole red carpet thing when Latanya shows up and there's like Ben Stiller and his wife Christine Taylor, who used to be Nickelodeon herself, uh, Ashton Kutcher, Danny Masterson, uh, I think is in there, um, uh, Oz from American Pie, Chris Klein, yeah, and many others that show up, um, Another episode says when Nick takes over style, or fashion, whatever you want to call it, Kenan Thompson shows up, as well as P. Diddy, because, you know, Sean John. Nickelodeon episode has Will Smith during a fantasy Nick has where he's hosting a game show. Um, or hosting a talk show, not game show, talk show. Um, Britney Spears shows up in the music one. Uh, that was Mary J. Blige, as I mentioned. There's some celebrities that pop up, you know, from time to time in this as well. Uh, see, any other thing I can talk about here. Each episode would end with Nick Cannon 
uh, saying goodbye to people and thanking the people that helped him out. And then he would find something that says Nick Cannon was here, but it was like tanned on someone's back or put over a baseball billboard or something. It would say Nick Cannon is here. And it was a cool way to end it, you know. And he'd take it over and then he left his mark. It was kind of cool. All in all, I really enjoy this show. It helped me during a time where it was an awkward time. I was going into high school, you know, and I didn't really have a TV at the time. I didn't. See, the TV I had was an older TV, and it was going out, and it had all these lines on it. I could listen to it, but I couldn't hear it. So what we had to do was take my VCR, put it in my sister's room on her TV, which was also old, and I would record the shows, and then when she was, you know, would let me, I would go in there and I would watch them. So I would record the stuff. I remember watching the London one in there and the school one, I think. But the London one the most. And then the Beats one I had on videotape with a bunch of other stuff for years. A mixtape, as I called them, even though it wasn't music. But, yeah, it was it was a little time in my life. But at the same time, the Power Rangers um, Wild Force was on before it got turned into the Fox Box later that year. It was... It was a fun little time, and I, I think it's one of the underrated Nickelodeon shows. It doesn't get the credit it deserves. I know it's only two seasons. I know that, you know, it's become sort of a lost show. And if it was a cartoon, it just would be a different show. But I still enjoy watching it. There are times, you know, when I first found out that Nick Cannon show was on there, I bought it. And all I did is I ordered me a pizza, I had some soda, and I watched the Nick Cannon show. And it, you know, it brought me back to good times. Even watching it now, it does hold up. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, you see the celebrities and the way they look back then, you notice they're different. You notice the technology is a little bit different. The f Nick kind of has a flip phone that he talks to, I think. It's, all, it's, uh, it's, you know, technology. Cars are a little different. TVs are different. But it's a time capsule of the early 2000s, and I think it really works. Uh, so, yeah, this show... Didn't deserve to be canceled, in my opinion. I guess ratings got low, but I always watched it when I could. And I still love to watch it. So, uh, really nothing else to do but say, uh, what are your thoughts on the Nick Cannon show? You know, comments below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I've been Scotty. Oh, wait a minute. What's it say? Turn over. What? Huh? It's been. Hold on. Very funny. Man.